Hi there, it's uh, Tim Orwood from Compass Property Investing here with another Facebook Live. And yet again, the gremlins of technology have, have got us again. So um, our apologies, we've been a bit late. Um, yeah, it's, it, <laughs> if you can only see what happens here before the show. Okay, so if you're watching live, if you can help us out with a one, uh, that would mean that you're watching live. Two, the number two, if you're watching in review, as in watching it later, that really helps us out. Um, what a great weather we've had until today. It's got a bit wet up here, and um, but the weekend was fantastic. And last night's game, the State of Origin, well, I must admit it was a great game. That means that Queensland lost. Um, that's about all I can say. It was a good game. Look out when we come back up to uh, Brisbane in a few weeks' time. Okay, so what have we got down here? Everyone wants a rent guarantee. Of course they do. I hear it so often. Um, people... You know, they're worried, they're concerned, and they believe a rent guarantee is the way to success. Well, I'm here today to shed some light on a rent guarantee. If, you're, if you've actually, um, there's only one thing I suppose I can say about a rent guarantee is the only thing guaranteed about it is, is you, you're guaranteed to be paying too much, okay, for the rent guarantee. So we're gonna, we're gonna look into that a bit today. And um, so let's talk about the main problem with a rent guarantee, typically, this is typically, there are occasions when it's not true, but most of the time, it, it means your price is loaded, okay? So that means when I say loaded, they've actually put an extra ten to $15,000 on the price of the property, and you're paying for it, and you're getting this rent guarantee. Okay, so the banks know this, um, and they will then devalue the property, which means you actually, you know, it's, it's a tougher time to buy the property for you, and more importantly, it makes it a poor performing investment, okay? Because you've actually, yeah, we'll talk about that later, but the, re the reasons why you wanna avoid that and why do, why do they do it is basically because the property is not selling, okay? The, whether it's off the plan or whatnot. It, so the developers put, put their money, you know, the, they're charging more or the builder or both to get the property moved, okay? But if it's in the right area, you wouldn't have to worry about that. Okay, so that's one thing you gotta watch out for, loading of the price to get the rent guarantee, okay? The next thing that they can get you with uh, with a rent guarantee is they'll be charging you a higher uh, rental management fee. And that, that, that certainly does mean a poor performing investment because the amount of money you're getting in is, is, is reduced because you're paying higher uh, fees. That might, you know, instead of paying seven or eight percent, depending on where you are for the rental, uh, to real estate, you're actually paying more. So chickens come home to roost. If you, if you pick up something for, for whatever, that it has to be paid for, so it's gonna be paid by you. And uh, you don't need to pay for a rent guarantee. I'll tell you more about that later. Um, and uh, just remember, reminding myself there, if you're watching one, live, two, if you're watching in review, that's really good for us. And of course, like and share. It's been going really well, so we appreciate you supporting us. Next thing is the, uh, the bad fine print. Okay, when you look at a rent guarantee, there's some shocking, shocking fine print in there. And the first one is the 4% rent yield, which is absolutely terrible. Okay, so we, we sell properties up here in Brisbane for $420,000. A 4% rent yield on that works out to be $16,800 a year, divided by 52, that's $323 a week. So $323 when the properties that we're selling at 420 rent for 400, okay? So as if it's not gonna get, you're not gonna get 370 or 350 at least, even in the worst case scenario, your rent guarantee only kicks in if it's under 323. So it ain't, ain't gonna happen, okay? And the, um, what you also gotta realize is they have a one month ex, um, excess, so therefore they won't start paying until it's been vacant for one month. So it's just terrible. And of course, the weasel out clause, as I call it, it's, it's a shocker. It's saying that if fair market value for fair market conditions, so if the market was to suddenly crash or move down suddenly, they've got the right to reduce that $323 even lower to match the market. Okay, it's fine print. It's in most rent guarantees. And um, don't do it, guys. Don't need it. Okay. So why, why don't you need a rent guarantee? Okay, if, if, if you're in the right location, you've done your research well, you won't need to worry about the rent. There will be a demand and people will always rent a well-built house 
with the proper features that people look for, okay? And of course it's new and it's got all the latest air conditioning and whatnot, it'll rent. A new house will always rent before a second hand house. That's, that's the way it is. So don't worry, spend your time more on your due diligence towards the location, the right builder, the right company to look after you, okay? Don't sweat the, the rent guarantee because I see it in society, it's just people being nervous, you know? And um, Australia is well positioned uh, as well, as, a, as I've said in previous Facebook Lives. If something was to happen in Australia economically, it's easy to let more money into the country to fix it up, okay? Because because we're where we are geographically, our resources, um, you know, everyone wants to come here for education, our system, our food, our air, clean air, clean water. So don't worry, that's why Australia investing in property is relatively smooth, okay? Um, so you don't really need a rent guarantee. And uh, good news is, if you want a rent guarantee, I know where to get a rent guarantee that's fair for you. But you know what? We've had access to this rent guarantee for one year and we've never used it once. We've told a few clients about it who are nervous Nelly, really, really worried, and they've never taken it up. Why? Because, so this isn't a rent guarantee with a builder or a developer where they pay an extra price. This is a rent guarantee through a, a major international insurance company. Okay, now insurance companies don't lose. So this rent guarantee, if you want it, I, I strongly recommend you not, it comes at a 5% of the, pro, of the, say the rent's $400 a week, it, they'll charge you $20 a week for it as a, as a premium. But you're only gonna probably have it for six months or 12 months and you'll get rid of it. And the insurance company know that. Okay, it's a 10 year rent guarantee, but no one takes it for 10 years. You, you've got the option to take it as long as you want. Because I say to my clients, I said, just spend that $1,000 on your, on your children. You know, don't waste it. And you know what? By the time the place has got finished or got built and all that, they've got a decision whether they want it, no one's taken it because they haven't needed it, okay? Because if you put people in the right area with the right build, everything's done right, you don't need to waste money on a rent guarantee, okay? People that might even might do it is someone who's just can't sleep at night, or they're, um, but once you get a, a one or two properties or three or four, you don't need rent guarantees, because as the values go up, you certainly don't need the rent because it, it, it surpasses what you need. So, um, but yeah, so my advice, the only thing about a rent guarantee, the only guarantee really is the fact that you're gonna be paying more for what you need. And um, as I said in previous Facebook Lives, don't overcook it guys, you know, get involved, but do your due diligence on the area, the builder, the company that looks after you, and it's pretty well easy street. So I hope you've enjoyed today's uh, Facebook Live. It's been a, uh, a bit of a mountain to get here today compared <laughs> just a few minutes ago with the chaos. Sorry we're late. And um, if you can please like us, share, it really does help us out. And uh, inquire if you want to ask any questions or any topic you'd like, like us to talk about going forward. Um, so have a great week. It's Tim Orwood from Compass Property. Take care.